I hope you're all well. I just got back from a holiday. I was I was expecting to have a couple parcels when I got back, but <laughs> uh, this is a lot. So I was going to do it in my vlog, but I've decided to just do an um, impromptu, impromptu, impromptu um, unboxing, which I can just throw in as an extra video while all the chaos is going on and might give you a bit of extra content. Who knows? I need to go through and plan my content for the next few weeks, see if I can pre-record anything. So... We're gonna be unboxing this lot. <laughs> I've got a book hook box, a book hooked box to unbox, um, a book box club, two parcels from Amazon that I'm not sure what they are. I haven't ordered them. There's a parcel I have unboxed as well already. It was damp, so I wanted to unbox it just see how damaged the books are before I unboxed it on here and got frustrated. And then definitely one book from a publisher possibly a second book from a publisher i'm not sure but it's definitely not from amazon so without further ado let's unbox these because i don't know what's in here and that's exciting <laughs> um so first thing i'll do is before i just destroy the entire living room um, I'll show you what I got in the damaged parcel. So I did take a picture of it because I didn't know just how damp the books would be inside. They don't look too bad. They're not damaged, but I think they should be okay. I can't really be bothered complaining to Amazon about it because it will just be ages before I get replacements. So these are from Tracy, who I will be thanking uh, later on. So just sending something to say that you are not alone and to lighten your day a bit. Thanks for all that you do on your channel from Tracy. Thank you so much, Tracy. She has sent me Cinders and Sparks, Goblins and Gold, which is the second in the Cinders and Sparks series. No, it's not. It's the third in the Cinders and Sparks series by Lindsay Kelk. This is one of my favorite series of all time. I absolutely adore it. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm so glad I've got books for all of them now. So thank you so much, Tracy. She also sent me um, Night Flights by Philip Reeve, which I believe is like a companion series to the Mortal Engine series by Philip Reeve. So I am two books into the Mortal Engine series and I'm absolutely loving it. And I have no idea that there's like a companion series to it. So very excited to have this as well. Really, really excited to continue with the series and have this one to go with it. I think this has got illustrations in it as well. I Yes, it does. That is horrific. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they're not too damaged, but you can tell they're a little bit warped. So I'm just hoping that they might dry out a bit and this should be fine. Thank goodness. The pages don't seem too bad. It's just the front of the books, you know, the end papers, if you like. So uh, thank you so much, Tracy. That's the sweetest thing. Thank you so much. You are adorable. Uh, pop those in there so I do not lose them. On that note, let's continue oh god i am all over the place i apologize let's continue with amazon parcels first um so i am in a couple of amazon wish list type groups if you like so these may be from there i'm tentatively sticking my hand in because they've been behind the door but i don't know if there's spiders inside um hi love hope you enjoy this pick me up maybe a buddy read at some point from Feel really shit about this because i cannot pronounce the name but i know exactly who it is thank you so much a o i f e a o f e a o f e i'm so sorry the little book elf thank you so much honey i really appreciate it i will message you and try and find out how to pronounce your name because that's horrendous so i don't know how to do that oh bless you i've got the assassin's blade by sarah j mass from the little book elf i'm just going to keep calling you that for now because i don't want to keep butchering your name it's so not right <laughs> to do that um so yeah i was gifted kingdom of ash last week and um i realized at that point that i think i'm probably missing two books so this was one of them and i think the other one was is it in here queen of shadows so this one is short story collection i think if i'm correct i think it is um that is like pre throne of glass as far as i'm aware i think this is like a short story collection pre throne of glass and that's the order you're supposed to read it in anyway um as far as this is concerned it is 
but yeah thank you so much little book elf i appreciate it so so much i'm def definitely going to message you and find out how to pronounce your name as well it's horrendous that i don't know how to do that i'm so so sorry i am terrible with names and pronunciation um then we have this one which is also an amazon one i think is there a note yes there is I love this trilogy so much. It's perfect escapism from all these awful times from Sarah. I am not sure where I'm going to be able to find you, honey, because you've just put your name, but thank you so much. Oh, winter of the Witch. The Winter of the Witch. I think this is the second in the Bear and the Nightingale trilogy. Fairly certain it is. I am planning on reading that very, very soon. Oh, The Girl in the Tower is the second one. So this is the third. So I do need to get my hands on the second, but that's no bother. That's fine. Um, very excited about this one because I did a try chapter ta tag with uh, The Bear and the Nightingale and I really enjoyed the first chapter, so I kept the book. And I am planning on reading it very, very soon. So thank you so much, Sarah. I will try and figure out whereabouts you are from so I can thank you think actually you might be in my instagram wishlist group so i will check that out and just double check but thank you so much honey that's amazing thank you so so sweet people are so kind and honestly it's such a tough time at the moment that it's just really nice you know to have a bit of mail to play with <laughs> some new books to add to the shelves i apologize i look like shit just obviously me and my dad have just come back from holiday so We've had a road trip, it was really nice, relaxing. It was great actually, just what we both needed to be fair. So, I loved it. Ooh, okay. So, I've opened this one up, who I'm assuming it's from publisher. Now I've opened it up, I think it probably is. This is from, it's from Little Brown. Thank you so much, Frankie. Can't remember if I knew this was coming or not. I'm fairly certain I probably did actually. So this is the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby jim mendez for some weird reason i feel like i have something else of hers very recently probably on my kindle maybe i'm not sure this is coming out on the 14th of april 2020 and this looks awesome i love the cover oh i do remember okay no i really remember now um frankie got in contact with me and she said do i want to read this book and basically I think this is to do with okay so I'll just read it out to you because it's um so much easier to do so do you know what gave me the <laughs> reminder the dog on the cover was the only thing that gave me the reminder I apologize my mind is elsewhere two years after losing her fiance Sloane Monroe can still can't seem to get her life back on track but one troublemaking pup with a take me home look in his eye is about to change everything with her new pet by her side slow finally starts to feel more like herself then after weeks of unanswered texts tucker's own owner reaches out He's a musician on tour in Australia and bottom line he wants Tucker back. Well, Sloane's not about to give up her dog without a fight, but what if this Jason guy really loves Tucker and their flirty texts turn into long calls? Sloane can't deny a connection. Jason is hot and nice and funny. There's no telling what could happen when they meet in person. The question is, with his music career on the rise, how will Jason really stick around? And is it possible for Sloane to survive another heartbreak? I'm just totally here for a dog ma making, ma a matchmaking dog. I'm so here for it. I got, I do remember reading the email and being so freaking excited, messaging Frankie back, and then I was like, oh my god, that was so professional. I'm so sorry. She's like, it's fine. I'm so glad you're excited about it. Thank you so much, Frankie and Little Brown, for sending me this. Super hyped for this. I will be picking this up very, very soon. It sounds amazing. It sounds like everything I need to read at the moment, actually. Definitely here for this. Thank you so much. And then we have one from Harper. Is it Harper 360? I didn't know if it was Harper Collins, Harper 360. I wasn't sure. What do we have in here? Oh, yes. I remember this. Okay, so I won this in a bit of a giveaway that um, Harper 360 were doing. So they've got sent me like a little oh my goodness they sent me a little note to tell me about the book and then a bookmark which says never trust anyone who has bought has not brought a book with them lemony snicket which is so freaking true and then the book is home games by benjamin markovitis markovitz markovitz apologies i told you i'm terrible with names this is a middle grade 
I believe, yes it is, I can tell by the size of the text. Looks like it's to do with basketball. Um, and I am here for it. It sounds amazing. This says, over your Ben is a shy, quiet kid. His life isn't perfect, but he feels at home in his New York City apartment. Then his dad takes a job in London and everything changes. His parents separate and Ben's mum moves back to their hometown of Austin, Texas. Ben's simple life is suddenly complicated. He misses his apartment, his best friend Jake and his dad. Then he meets Mabley, who becomes a bright spot to Ben's day. But when his mum starts working at his new school and making friends with his teacher, Ben finds himself at the centre of all problems that the adult around the adult surrounding can't resolve and even some of his own that includes joining the school's basketball team where Mabley's best friend is the star player after being pushed around looking for his place Ben will have to learn how to stand his ground it sounds adorable it came out on the 19th of March so this has just come out obviously I've been away so I may have got this a couple of days after I went away but this came out yesterday yesterday two days ago two days ago today's the 21st so this came out two days ago it sounds awesome i'm really really here for this thank you so so much to have colin for sending me this um i am buzzing to pick that up i shall possibly do that very soon actually so thank you so much okay <laughs> i saw him pull up as i was saying bye to you but <laughs> i've just got another delivery so i might as well unbox it on here because where else am i gonna do it he left it on the doorstep and then walked to the end of my gate, like knocked on, walked to the end of my gate because he knew I was coming because he'd seen me in the window and then um, left. So I assume that they're telling them that they can't really pass things to people anymore, just knock on and make sure that they're picking them up, which is great. So um, that's handy, isn't it? This feels like a hardback. There is a note. I hope you enjoy this lovely and that it brings a smile to your face. Take care and lots of love from Jodie. I sent Jodie something last week, bless her. She did not have to send me anything back. So cute of her. Oh my God, she didn't. Why would she do? Bless that girl's heart. Holy crap. Okay. <gasps> okay. She sent me an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and Denizen, Denizens of Downworld by Cassandra Clare and illustrated by Cassandra Jean. Oh my God, I am so here for this. I put this on my wish list a couple of days ago because I've been completely obsessed again with Shadowhunters. I've rewatched the entire series on Netflix for the second time. Um, binged watched it the week before last and then I've been dying to pick up the Mortal Instruments again because I am obsessed with Magnus and Alec and Jason Clary so but holy shit so we've got Alexi De Quincey I don't think I've come across him yet where is he oh he's the head of the London vampire clan in the late Victorian period so I don't know if I don't think I've come across vampires yet in the Infernal Devices because I've only read The Clockwork Angel which is the first book so maybe I'll come across them in the next one we'll see um okay this goes in order of year I think not go through the whole book because we will be here forever but I do just want to find my favourites I basically went into, I will be saying this over and over again for the foreseeable, but I went into the Shadow Hunters with, by starting off with the Mortal Instruments um, TV series on Netflix. I hadn't seen the film, I hadn't read the books, so I went into it watching that and then picked up the Mortal Instruments books. So that's where my obsession lies with these people. Alexander Gideon Lightwood, for example. He's a beauty. I love him. I'm obsessed with him. I just really want to show you because these illustrations are incredible and I need to share them with somebody. Can't believe Jodie's got me this book. Thank you so much, Jodie. Honestly, that's everything. Church, what a legend. <laughs> I just love that cat. Clary Frey. I love her. She's amazing. I adore her. Isabella Lightwood. Also a huge fan. Jace Herondale. Definitely a huge fan. Luke looks nothing like the Luke I'm used to from the TV series. It looks like movie Luke, but not TV series Luke. Magnus. 
I think my um, Magnus Bane in the TV series is literally my Magnus, so sorry. Where is Simon? There we go. Simon Lewis, little angel that he is. Well, he's not an angel, he becomes a vampire. And then shit goes down. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Jodie. This is gorgeous. It'll look so pretty on my Shadow Hunter shelf. Thank you so, so much. Right, I'm going to go and message these lovely, lovely people for sending me these books. Um, and I will see you next time for another video. <laughs> Bye for now.